Here with head coach Brad Laird after a homecoming loss to Southeastern. And coach, uh, hey, you got the fast start you wanted. Up seven, nothing. Potential fumble that that gets overturned, and it looks like that was uh, early on something that swung the momentum away from you. Uh, yeah, that that was one of the things I thought. Um, you know, we knew we had to get off to a fast start. Um, defensively, forcing them to punt two out of the first three drives. Uh, offensively, the, the second drive going down there and scoring, and then they answered. Um, and, you know, in a situation where we had the momentum, thought we had the takeaway. Um, but, but, but not only that, but also, you know, offensively, um, you know, third and one, uh, about the plus 12. Uh, we lose two. It's fourth and three. Uh, decide to go for it. Uh, and not not able to get any points, which, you know, going into it, I, I knew that we need seven uh, points instead of three. And so that was my decision to go for it, um, you know, especially a couple of times in the red zone. But, you know, just, uh, you know, just could not take advantage of the opportunities that we felt like that we had in the game early on. Uh, you, you have a great punt from Scotty Robbo. L.C. Greenwood does a great job to down it at the four. Uh, you look like you got a chance to keep it at 14-7 going to the half. And then uh, maybe – the quickest strike drive they have, five plays, 96 yards, and it kind of flips uh, the way things feel at halftime. Yeah, I mean, I, and I think, you know, they, they had some other big plays in the game, but but especially that drive, they were able to uh, to get some big plays on us. And, uh, you know, we weren't able to get off the field. And that was a big, I thought, momentum uh, switch in the game because I thought it was a great punt by Scotty. You know, Scotty was really challenged. Uh, this week uh, for, uh, you know, especially uh, placing his punts against a good returner um, and, and did a good job and, and pinning that one inside the 10 and we couldn't take advantage of it. Uh, defensively, I mean, obviously they're going to do what they do. They put up a lot of yards. Jared Pedraza had the tough assignment of kind of spying Cole Kelly and having to stick his nose in there, but uh, he stood tall and you mentioned, I mean, Isaiah Longino to start the half. He had two sacks on that first drive. So there were plays that were made by this defense. And that was, you know, one thing that, um, you know, they have a lot of success is, is get rid of the ball quick. And, uh, you know, for us to be able to, uh, for us to be able to get some uh, sacks, and I think really the one, uh, you know, with Lon Gino opening up the, the second half. But so we were able at times to be able to get to it. For you guys, Zach Clement makes his first career start. And he did some good things, scoring the first touchdown and then uh, finding his first career passing touchdown the, the, late in the second half. Uh, assess how you know his performance and his first career start. Yeah, I mean, I think we'll have to go back and look at the, uh, you know, evaluate the tape. I thought it was good early on to get off to that fast start, especially him, um, you know, with uh, earning his first start, and you know, was able to do it in a lot of different ways. Um, I think you know later on you saw him being able to do it with his arm early on. Uh, you saw what he could do running the football. So you know, I think um, you know as we go back and look and and limit the mistakes. Um, is going to be key uh, as we move forward, and, and not just uh, at the quarterback position, but all 10 positions around them. And getting back to finishing drives. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you when you have the opportunity, you got, uh, you know, and I say against Southeastern, but but it, and against um, any team in our conference, you know, when you have that opportunity, you got to sustain drives, and then you got to finish drives. All right, appreciate it, Coach.